Hello, my name is Cyrus the Great and I'm a Filipino. And today, I just watched a Filipino movie for the first time ever. That is apparently not a joke. Watching this film was literally my first time watching a Filipino movie. Well, it's not really my first time, I've watched a ton of Filipino movies, but this is actually my first time watching a Filipino movie from beginning to end. And this is coming from a Filipino who watches nothing but American films, TV shows, and cartoons. When I was a kid, all I watched was movies, TV shows, and cartoons that were made in America. And in my early teen years, I started watching anime. And further in my teen years, I started watching Chinese films. And now, as a young adult, I'm about to turn 19 this year, I have finally watched a Filipino movie from beginning to end. Why only now, you might ask? It's simply because back then, I never find Filipino movies interesting. I don't know why, maybe because I find the movies made in America more interesting. I don't mean to be political, but here it comes. I really do believe that America makes the best movies in the world. I mean, just look at these films. The Godfather, Citizen Kane, Spider-Man 2, The Dark Knight, The Warriors, Back to the Future, Home Alone, Star Wars, and so much more. In my opinion, the best movies ever were made in America. I watched a ton of Filipino movies, but none of them actually worked for me. Especially the Filipino horror films. God, those were awful. This one, however, caught my interest because it's very unusual. It's very unusual for the Philippines, a Catholic country, to make a really vulgar and sexual animated film. So it caught my interest. And let me tell you, I am grateful to my curiosity. Hayop Ka, also known as You Animal, also known as You Son of a Bitch. I'm not kidding, that really is the meaning of Hayop Ka in English. It's the latest and probably, as far as I know, the one and only adult animated Filipino film. Again, as far as I know, it's directed by Avid Leongoren, and it stars Angela Kapanganiban, Robin Padilla, and Sam Milby. It was released on October 29, 2020, and it's 73 minutes long. So what's the film all about? Well, I'm not really gonna tell you the overall plot, cause I really want you to experience this film all by yourself. Instead, I'm gonna talk about the overall concept of the plot. In Photoshop. Hi. Hey, I really like watching people die. Fire, fire. A few moments later. Hello. Hey, I really like screwing animals. Fire, fire. One eternity later. Hi. Uh, hey. Okay, so what do I think about this film? Well, I loved it. I thought it was great. It has amazing animation, interesting and funny characters, a good enough story, and a beautiful soundtrack. First, let's talk about the plot. The plot is basically a love triangle drama. I think that's all you need to know. Okay, now let's talk about the characters. The main protagonist, Nympha, or should I say Nicole Watterson, is a <laughs> Roger the dog is a badass. Inigo, or should I say Legoshi, is a <laughs> And Larry, oh sorry, I mean Jerry, is a good guy. Now let's get to question number one. Who is the main villain? To tell you the absolute truth, I believe it's... Nicole Watterson. If you have watched this film already, really think about it. She's the entire reason why the love triangle drama transpired. She's the one who did the cheating. Her and Legoshi. She's not a lover. She's a manipulator. And the reason why she's a bad person is because, well, just look at her name. Her name is Nympha. Nymph. Nymphomaniac. A nymph in ancient Greek folklore is a minor female nature deity. Different from Greek goddesses, nymphs are generally regarded as personifications of nature, are typically tied to a specific place or landform, and are usually depicted as beautiful maidens. A nymphomaniac is a woman with uncontrollable or excessive sexual desire. She is without a doubt the main villain. And I know I'm not the only one who thinks that. No way! Oh my god! You're crazy! You're not just out of control sexually, you're an evil person! <laughs> I really didn't like her in this film, but don't worry, she got character development and I ended up liking her in the end. Question number two. Who is the real good guy? In total, there are three good guys. 
Roger, Jerry, and Nympha's best friend. Roger is a good guy because he's just a normal guy with a girlfriend, and he did not cause the love triangle drama. Yes, he doesn't really pay his rent, and yes, he did wreck someone's property, but at least he doesn't cheat. Jerry is a good guy who did absolutely nothing wrong. He's innocent, hardworking, sympathetic, and charismatic. That's really all you need to know. Nympha's best friend, again, I don't remember her name, is also one of the good characters. She told Roger the truth. She did the right thing and yet Nympha hates her for that. Why? Because Nympha is a selfish bitch. I'm glad her best friend left her. Okay, enough about the characters. Let's talk about the best part of the film. And this is the biggest reason why I love this movie. The animation, of course. God, the animation is so beautiful on so many levels. It's so colorful, so vibrant, so appealing, so gorgeous, so exquisite, so elegant, so splendid, so creative, so marvelous, so full of personality. I've watched a ton of animated Filipino movies, but they're all so average. When compared to this, I don't even know what else to say, dude. It's just so damn impressive. Take a look at this shot. Tell me if that looks similar to Han Mayujiro. Though the animation is stupendous, this movie is more than just eye candy. This film represents the Philippines so well. Aside from the politics, look at the vehicles, the buildings, the houses, the Ten Commandments. Dude, this is an actual snapshot from the film. The Ten Commandments. And look at that! Um. Moving on. Overall, I think it's a great film, and I really enjoyed watching it. I'm giving it an 8 out of 10. So in conclusion, this is literally the most unusual, and I mean the most unusual, Filipino movie of all time. I mean the Philippines is a Catholic country, and this film is... Wow. I almost forgot to mention that there's a sex scene in this film. And let me tell you, the sex scene was, um... You're just gonna have to see it for yourself. Because all I can say is, it did not turn me on. Maybe it's not meant to turn me on. Anyways, go watch this film because I highly recommend it. I just wish that Philippines would make more movies that are as interesting or even more interesting than this. I just hope. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. It really means a lot. You guys are the best. Take care. I got up my map and show.